Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're viewing this broadcast, Carkey Global Inc. Ministries, Carkey Global Inc. Foundation, Dr. Kiki Michelle Sater Williams, and Brother Carlisle E. Williams, co founders. I want to thank you for tuning in on this great day. Um, that the Lord has made in the new year of 2021. We're so thankful that we are still on board and the Lord has been blessing us to keep our journey going and our ministries going. We're gonna come and uh, ask you to go right now to Psalms 72, first verse through the fifth verse. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people and shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. I shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations, today, tomorrow, and forever. Let the Lord has, have a blessing in the reading of his word. Let it Touch your soul, let it bless you today. We ask for blessings for those that are in need. Let's go through the throne of grace at this time. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all you have been going to do in our lives. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the mighty healing spirit, oh Lord that touches each and every one of us, oh Lord, one by one, name by name, oh Father. Family members, loved ones, friends. Father, we just wanna say thank you. You're a mighty God, you're an awesome God. There's none other better than you. Heavenly Father, we'll just wanna say thank you, Lord, for blessing the sick, the shut-ins, wherever they may be, Lord. Touch those that are homeless, oh Lord. Standing in need of, of prayer today. Father, we thank you, Lord. Give them shelter, Father. Give them food to eat, Father. We just want to say thank you, Lord, for what you have been doing for our ministries, touching those, oh Lord, that in, are in charge. Father, we just want to say thank you. Bless those that are bereaved today, oh Father. But there are many that have gone on home. Lord, you know, you are the healer. You are the way maker. You are the great I am. Father, we thank you, Lord, for just being there for us, oh Lord. Being a shelter in the time of storms, oh Lord. During the season, oh Lord. Bring us out. Bring us out of this pandemic, Lord. You say if your people pray, oh Lord, things will change, oh Lord. Call upon your name and you shall be saved. Father, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for for us today, O oh Lord, in this ministry. Continue to bless us as we go forward in 2021, blessing others, helping others, O oh Father. These and all are blessing, O oh Lord. We ask in Jesus' name, for grace we pray. Amen. At this time, we're going to come for testimonies from some of our young people. We're going to have Emmanuel come up and give us testimony. Father, we thank you for the testament for the young people. Thank God for waking me up this morning, starting me on, and put food on the table, and taking care of me and my family for this time. Now I say keep going. Amen. Good morning. Uh, thank God for waking up this morning, so I'm on my way. Bless me a lot to 2020. Amen. I want to thank Brother Jeremiah Finch 
for his testimony. God has a plan. God has a way for those who are lost out there. Reach out and touch. Reach out for him. Just call on his name. He will be there for you. At this time, we're going to move forward and bring the message to you today from Dr. Kiki Michelle Secretary Williams. Praise the Lord and good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We thank God for his mercy, his grace, his, because of his mercies, we're not consumed. And we thank God for considering us in that manner. I won't be with you for long today. I'm gonna share what God shared with me and move it on out. If you would please turn in your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 43. And verse 19, Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19. Nothing new under the sun, but I want you to follow me on this. Verse 19 says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I'd like to say today, dry, but not parched. Dry, but not parched. Because God is, we can face tomorrow. Because God lives, we can face tomorrow. Because God stepped down through the generations of time to save all lost souls, we have no need to worry about anything because God is. Because God is, you and I, we can. Because God is, his words are final. Because God is, we can trust him. Yes, y'all, God is real. Yes, he is returning for his church one day. Hallelujah. Because God is, we can trust him. Because God is, we do not have to fear. The Bible tells us fear is of the devil. Okay? Anytime you have a sense of fear, you need to hold up, pray, and invite God into that situation because anytime there is fear, that, that is of the devil. Because God is, you have to understand that the battle is already fought and won. Because God is, I can face tomorrow, hallelujah. Many times the children of God may find themselves in between a rock and a hard place. We may have been holding on to that one word for the last five years. Somebody spoke a word to you and you've been holding on for dear life, waiting, not sure of when it will come through. You've just been holding on to it. We may be holding on to that one dream, that one goal, that, that one prayer, hallelujah, in hopes that it will come to pass. Wow. We may not have any proof of anything related to that dream, that word, or that goal. However, we pray with the expectancy that, Lord, remember what I was told. Lord, honor my prayer. 
God, if it be your will, please make a way. We seek God because we know that by faith, he's going to come through. By faith, we understand that he's going to make a way. By faith, we understand that God has not forgotten about us. The signs of a better tomorrow may be a distant thought. We're living in 2021. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to this point. But even on this 10th day of January, there are a lot of people really going through. Our world is in turmoil. Our United States is in a turmoil. Some of our homes are in a turmoil. Our schools, the virus has wreaked havoc in lives. Sin has wreaked havoc in lives. So sometimes we may think we're going to get a change or we're expecting a change, but we're holding on because guess what? Down through the years, we've seen God do miraculous things. We understand that God may not come when we want him to, but it's a matter of his timing. We hold on generation after generation, knowing that soon a change will come. We may be halted in between two decisions not knowing which way to go. We've written down the pros and the cons and we still, we've been praying and we still don't know which way to go. We must know that hell is on the way. When you think about a desert, think about how it is dry. It is mostly comprised of sand, understand that there is life in the desert. Although it lacks visible bodies of water, there is life in the desert. So think of how in a desert, you might see a cactus. They have different shades of green and brown and tan Cactus, cacti. And a cactus can grow for years in a desert. So I want you to understand that where your feet are planted, God has already given you a provision in that season, in that environment. The cactus grows year to year in the blistering heat, but its needs are supplied. So today I would like to speak to those of you who believe that God has abandoned you. I know we don't talk about this very often in our services because we want everybody to think our faith is intact and, and we're just believing God and, and we're waiting until our change comes. But I want to talk to you if in the inward parts of yourself, you think God must have abandoned and forgotten about me. Lord, where are you? You may believe that you are in a dry place. You feel God is never going to answer your calls for help. Like, I've been calling, I've been praying, I've been asking, I've been fasting. I've been witnessing, I've been serving, I've been tithing, I've been offering, I've been giving of myself, God. Where are you? I'm talking to you today. You feel like a spiritual cactus. Dry. No visible signs of fresh wind. You haven't gotten a word in a while. You feel like this spiritual cactus, no signs of water you feel like you need to be refreshed and renewed because of your environment those who have at a point given up on their lives you used to dream you used to plan you used to have great expectations you used to execute 
But now, it seems you've given up on your dreams. I, I, I'm talking to you today. Hallelujah. Despite praying for peace and healing, you said to yourself, it's not going to happen. I'm going to go through these motions, but wow, I'm not convinced at this point. I prayed and God told me no. I prayed and I didn't get an answer at all. I gave, I did this, that, and the other, and I'm still right where I was before I did such things. Uh, I'm talking to you because I want to share to you from God that it just sprang forth. It, whatever your it is, it just sprang forth. Your new thing just sprang forth. God was talking directly to you in verse 19, Isaiah chapter 43. See, your new thing is different from somebody else's new thing. And what I like about God is he's not going to ever confuse your prayers. We can have the exact same name and have been born on the same day. But what's designed and valued for you is going to be for you. What's designed and valued for me is going to be for me. We've got to understand that God is all too wise to make a mistake. Hallelujah. Some people are mad, upset, and disgruntled with God. Because he said no. Understand it was for your good. Hallelujah. So let's look at how God works. You have been dry, but not parched. You have been in a holding pattern of sorts. You might not have had all the things you've been praying for. But somehow or another, God sustained you where you are. Despite what happened to you and your finances and your home and, and in your career and in your church and in your life, if you take a moment and see that God has been providing for you in that space, in that desert, in that dry land, hallelujah, the enemy will paint a picture of you all by yourself. And then you start talking like you're all by yourself. And you start using words of defeat. And you start promoting self-defeating prophecies over yourself. And we wonder why people can't even say positive things to others because of the place that they are in. So don't talk about, ooh, so-and-so is always negative. Hey, so-and-so might be in a, a sunken place. But I, I want to talk to so-and-so today, too. Hallelujah. Understand that God has continued to make a way for you. He has continued to hold back the hands of the enemy in your life. I know you feel like you've just been beat up, scarred, torn from left to the right. But I'm telling you, God has still been right there carrying you and taking good care of you better than you will have been able to do yourself. He's been doing more for you than all the folks who lie to say what they would do for you. Some people are, are upset because God cut off relationships. God is, up, God is protecting us from the things that he sees coming. And he's, he decided I'm gonna move my child out of this environment to save their soul. But yet some people are murmuring and complaining about what could have been had I been. So God says he has com now committed to not only do a new thing for you, this is not me talking, this is God. This is your Bible, hallelujah. He said, but he's also going to make a way for you in the wilderness. My God, so if, if I'm in a desert, dry place, if I'm in the wilderness, if I'm in a, a status of, of uncertainty and disorganization and, and not knowing, oh my God, what's next? My Bible 
Bible said that God is going to make a way for you in the wilderness. It may be dark in your wilderness. It may be dry in your wilderness. It may be a position of you just not knowing where you belong. You're wandering round and round and round. God said, I'm about to show you the way. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to provide you rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. So just because I don't see bodies of water in the desert doesn't mean that they're not there. Something is sustaining cacti. Something is sustaining the life forms in the desert. We got to take a moment and take our emotions out of things that we're going through and understand that God is still there. We got to put our flesh under subjection so it won't hurt so bad to understand it's working for my good. Now, when God speaks, I want you to understand me today. It's a suddenly moment. Hallelujah. It's a suddenly direction. It's a suddenly word. Hallelujah. It ain't going to take all week. What we just talked about, if you under the sound of my voice, it's not going to take all week to be manifest. Hallelujah. It's a suddenly release. It's a suddenly change. It's a suddenly turn. Hallelujah. It's a suddenly healing. He said, I've made a way. Shall you not know it? God is not about doing this thing in a little small corner and just talking directly to you by yourself without you knowing it. But even when he's doing what he's doing, God is saying, without a doubt, you're going to know it. You're going to know it was God. You're going to know that he was concerned about you. You're going to know that the way was made for you, hallelujah. God said, see, not only will you know about it, but those who've been talking about you, hallelujah, they're going to know about it. See, some people know your business better than you know. They following everything about you and, and putting A to B and C to D. They know more about the details of what's going on in your life than you know. Well, see, God has employed those people on your behalf. See, he tells me he's prepared a table for me in the presence of the enemy. Hallelujah. People hanging around with you, skinning and grinning in your face, calling and, and saying good things, scandalizing you behind your back. God said, I'm putting them to work for you. Hallelujah. They're going to have to go and run and tell the good news, hallelujah, of the way in the wilderness, hallelujah. This thing that just changed and turned for you, God said, I'm going to employ your haters to go and tell, oh, child, guess what happened over there to so-and-so? Oh, do you not know? Let me tell you. See, God's got a way to shut the mouth of the enemy, hallelujah. He said, I've made a way for you, my child. Stop holding your head down and being depressed and feeling sorry for yourself. I put this thing together. Hallelujah. And, and see, when God do something, it ain't falling down. Hallelujah. He don't have to do stuff. Hallelujah. He said, I know the end from the beginning. And, and, and when and God said, I'm the one who looked down through the generations of time. And yeah, I saw you dealing with what you couldn't even talk about. God said, and at my divine timing, I would pull you out. At my divine intervention, it would be decided that's enough. Hallelujah. So God is going to employ your haters to go tell the good news. Hallelujah. They will tell how things have miraculously changed for you. See, because some of the situations that we've gotten ourselves into or that God has allowed us to be in, it wasn't a way out. Really and truly, it wasn't no hope. 
Hallelujah. But God said, I'm going to do a new thing. He said, tell them, I will tell the good news on your behalf. You ain't got to go bragging about, uh-huh, uh-huh. God said, tell you that I've been talking to today. All you've got to do is think of the goodness of Jesus and make sure you give God the praise. Hallelujah. God said, you were created. Hallelujah. Especially for this moment. This moment has been preordained and pre-orchestrated for you. Hallelujah. So there goes the lie being debunked when people say you ain't nobody. You don't matter. Oh, you're just like your mama. Oh, you're just like your daddy. All those hurtful things. God said, I looked down through time and saw you. And I set this thing in motion for you. So if this great big God who hung the stars in the sky can have that much thought and purpose for us, you must be mighty, mighty important. So as you're giving God the praise, he said, always know that I am that I am. Hallelujah. You go back to the, the book of Isaiah chapter 43, right from verse 1 to the end of chapter 43, and you'll see that God can do what he want to do when he want to do it. God can defy medical dictionaries, hallelujah, and, and medical expertise. God can defy judgments and, and the law, hallelujah. God can do whatever he wants to do. And as you're praising him, understand that God said, I am that I am. Yeah. He means I don't need nobody's permission. That's my child. That's my son. That's my daughter. He said, I can and I will. And I just did. Hallelujah. God said, I saw you through the generations of time in your dry season. I saw you in the generations of time, depressed, lonely, broke, busted, disgusted. He said, but I also saw my plan. Hallelujah. He said, I also had to honor my prayers for you. God said, I prayed for you. That your faith fail you not. God is working things out for us. And sometimes we get so distraught with the distractions that we let our faith slip. God said, I pray for you that your faith fail you not because I already knew I was going to bring you up. Hallelujah. It was at this appointed time today that your deliverance was set you free. Hallelujah. It is today that your faith and your faithfulness will set you free. It is today. It is today. Hallelujah. It is today. You've got to tell yourself, I passed the test. Let me hear you say, I passed the test. Let me hear you say, I passed the test. I passed the test. Hallelujah. God said, I did it for you, baby. I had you in mind. I passed the test. And no matter what it looks like, it was declared, and I've spoken it as so, God said, you're free. God bless you. Amen. Hey, Amen. What a word from Isaiah 41. 43. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Dr. Kiki Michelle Singter Williams, for that message. I want to say thank you for those who tuned in to today's broadcast. We do hope that the word has touched your spirit. And you can also share your gifts, your tithes, your offering, 
to our ministries, Parquet Global Inc. Ministries. Any donation will be helpful for this ministry to carry on and do God's word and work. You can call us 404-477-7195. If you need any information, if you need prayer, if you need Dr. Secretary Williams to come and speak at your upcoming Women's Day or event, give her a call at that number, 477-7195. And she would gladly respond back. Follow us right here on YouTube. And if you have any questions about upcoming events, you can call us or me directly, 470-418-7277. We do hope that you have been touched, you have been blessed, and we thank you for tuning in. Share this video with your friends and family, and I hope that it will touch your bodies in your mind and your spirit. Give God all the praise, all the glory. We thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we thank you. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Stay locked. Parquet Global Inc. Ministries. Parquet Global Foundation. 501c3. Reach out and touch somebody today and bless them. God bless you. Until next time. Bye-bye.